Welcome back guys, my name is ZDogs82 and we're going to be playing some more of Blood and Gold Caribbean. So just quickly, um, I've managed to figure out actually what was the problem with my uh, music while using, uh, <laughs> while playing um, Blood and Gold Caribbean. So the problem was the battle music during the navy naval combat is apparently copyright. So whenever that happens, I'm just simply going to switch the sound off, and hopefully there won't be any problems after that. But for the rest of the gameplay, there will definitely be sound. So you no longer have to worry about that, and I no longer have to use other music, although that music was pretty awesome, I have to admit. But here we go. We're going to jump back into the game and continue on. So now we're going to go into the auctions and re-enable our music done alright so all we have going on here is we have our party with the heavy galleon still it's consistently getting beat up and healing itself our cargo hold currently has Fish, corned beef, bread, salted fish, so we're doing okay with all food. Our party still has Jose de Alba in there, but he's now level 11, which is pretty awesome. Myself, I am level 11 as well. Ooh, looks like I got a level up and I hadn't noticed. What am I going to do here? We'll come back to that in a minute. Still got the Buccaneer Musketeers, the French Renegades, Buccaneer Fighters, Buccaneer Reavers, Dutch Renegade, English Renegade, Buccaneer Sailor, Buccaneer Veteran Reaver, and English Veteran Renegade. So, we've got a pretty good party, but now let's get into my character's stats. What do we want to upgrade? Hmm. Inventory management, I think, would be good. Let's up the agility first. Oh, maybe. No, inventory management, yeah. Let's upgrade our artillery skill. We're done there. So, as you can see, we've got the Spanish trying to take over Providence, but I won't allow it. This is going to be risky. Can we pick up any extra sa any soldiers? No, we're good. Um, let's go ashore and attack. Oh no! Oh, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be one hell of a gunfight. Okay, guys, time to prepare for the worst. Oh man. I don't like how this is gonna go. <laughs> Let's just start. Okay. Musketeers. Hold this position. Mm -hmm. 
so you're going to be difficult like that, huh? Let's move you right there, and right there. Let's move our infantry forces over here and over here. So this is a unique thing that they don't have in Warband is that battle map display that you can use, but personally I prefer to have that Warband kind of control because this this control is a little bit more clunky and the troops don't quite react the way that they should. Oh, bollocks, here they come. Open fire, everyone. Infantry. Charge. We are grossly outnumbered in this fight. Hopefully our quality is better than theirs. Somehow I think it's not. Whoa, what the hell? I tend to believe that our quality is inferior. But we will give them one hell of a fight. Nonetheless. Holy crap, all the pikes. We are so boned. Oh, we got him. I seem to be cutting down their horsemen just fine, but... Everything else is a bit of a problem. We must protect prominence. <laughs> Didn't kill him, but took his horse out. Ooh. Oh, this guy looks important. Oh, he's tough, too. Let's give him a bit of a shot. Oh. No, you don't. No. Ah, he was Garcia de Sotomor. He was the leader of the Spanish. So we're getting destroyed here. There is no hope for us at this point. But I will go down fighting. I will not go down without a fight. Haha, <laughs> suck it, Metro Marine. Alrighty. Let's pull out my blade and cut this guy down. <laughs> On horseback, I'm fairly deadly, especially with this long reaching sword. But 
I really don't like the situation I'm in. My days are numbered. Oh, that guy looks important. The guys that are really going to annihilate me here will be these pikemen. Gotta move, gotta move. <sighs> oh. Is it possible for me to run and not get captured, I wonder? Because there is so many still here. Oh man. Oh no! How dare you fight for the Spanish, you native prick. Damn, that gunner got me. Oh, are they in cannons? What the? No, I've been taken prisoner, damn it. Well, here we are, back like in episode one. Hmm. Let's try and escape alone. Sold into slavery, huh? Well, I don't like it. And you're not going to stop me, stupid guards. I will get away. Oh yeah? You want to try and stop me? sword. I'm going to be getting out of here home free. You got horses, huh? Good for you, it's not going to stop me. Just keep running, just keep running. You can do it, E-Dogs, you can escape. <laughs> and we did it. Oh, that's funny as. <laughs> they put us in the same place as when we were in um the first time. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh yeah, bandits, you want to play? Let's just start since it's only me. I wonder what kind of bandits these are, what weapons they have. They'll send me back to being a slave. <laughs> that could be hilarious. Coming. It's 
not anything like my old sword, like it's not awesome like it was. It's shorter, it swings faster, but it's not as powerful. Good for um, fighting on deck of a ship. Oh, they got guns, they got guns! They have guns, they have guns! This is bad, Serpentine! No! Ow! Stop shooting me! I just escaped from the plantation, guys! Come on! Give a brother a chance! Uh oh, they're gonna take me out. I won't go down without a fight. All right, who's next? No! Uh, I killed four of them. And they take me prisoner again. <laughs> Alright, try to escape alone. Again. How the hell do I escape out of this place? I've never been in a salt mine before. Mm. Okay, let's try this way. Yeah, I have other weapons. I don't have that sword anymore, damn it. This guy's poking the rocks with poles, what the hell? I see ladders. I see a guard over there. I see you. You're not gonna stop me, punk. Up the ladder we go. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this is the way to escape. I might have to deal with him if he spots me. Let's run up this way. Try and stay in his peripheral vision. We're just out of it. Make a break for it. Yeah, like nobody notices. Later, fools. I'm out of here. I ain't gonna do no work in your stupid mind. I'm free. You can't stop me. This is easier than getting off a plantation. Nobody's noticed me running away. Awesome. Send me to a salt mine every day. <laughs> every time you capture me in battle. I'm free. Hmm.
Okay, I think I've run far enough, haven't I? Come on, game. Oh well. I don't know if this is the right way or not. Let's try going this way then. But while we're uh, endlessly running like this, um, we have to formulate a plan, you know, because we're stuck on this Spanish held island and it's purely Spanish. There's no other nation. Somehow we have to get ourselves together a crew once again. And yep, we escaped. Oh, actually, I thought we were over here. Awesome. So we don't actually have a ship at the moment because it's back at Providence, but we're free. So now we have to work out how we're going to build up a crew again from nothing. Because we literally have no money. We just got these this crap old gear. There's no way I can take out 60 on my own. Um, but lucky for us, there is an in couple oh, uh, 25 crap an English holding over here. So if we beat down these 25 tribals. <laughs> we'll be able to get to there and talk to our banker, get some money out of the bank, and hire some more men, and then be able to get a really tiny ship if we can, and then go over and grab our better ship and get back on track. That's the plan. Will it happen? We'll see. We're not doing so hot on health. We've only got about a quarter of our health. Our gear is rubbish. <laughs> and we're versing 25 natives. So things aren't looking so great for us. Yeah, they're pretty deadly guys. I don't want to play with you. <laughs> but I'm going to have to. Crap, they're all charging me out. And they're shooting at me with arrows. Just got to keep them at a distance. Keep smacking them. And I might get out of this. I killed a few of them before, and I'm down. Stupid Jaguar Axeman got me, and he's just using a little dagger. And they take me prisoner. Lovely. <laughs> Let's keep waiting this time. Will they let me go? Keep waiting. Oh man, if we can just get over to the French occupied territory there, we can have a chance. Oh, this is bullcrap. Quest an audience with the administration. Well, 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 what do we have here? What do you want, slave? I wasn't always a slave, sir. I've got some savings and I wish to ransom myself. How quaint. Technically, 
this is against the rules, but we could look the other way if you get me interested enough. Say, how much would you value on your freedom? Is it worth 55,000 piastres? <laughs> um, if you just let me go, I'll return with the coin promptly, sir. What? Do you take me for a fool or something? I repeat, your freedom costs 77,000 piastres. What? Oh, I see. I can't pay that much. Now stop wasting my time. I won't be as generous next time. God's taking out. Sorry, sir. Well then. I'm escaping. Bye. Whoa, this guy's already wanting some. This guy already wants to beat my ass. God knocked out. Lovely. You wanna give me your sword, friend? Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. Have a nice life being a prisoner, you stupid idiots. Ouch. Well, this dude's got hops. He's quick. Dude, your aim sucks. For real. I'm leaving. You're not stopping me. Ooh, gun. Nope. Nothing but a coward. Dude, I'm fighting an entire plantation worth of guards to get my freedom. Sucked in. And I'm out of here. No way am I fighting anymore. Because I'm close to death. And I made it. <laughs> Let's get into Fort St. Louis as quick as we can. Sell that. Okay, we need to go to no, 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 no. We need to go to a different building, not the main square, to the town hall and talk to the bank over here. Say, hey man, I need money. I just got taken prisoner. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'll be taking all of that back, thanks. And now that I have that, I'll be able to hire some men to fight for me. Colonial Lances. Maybe later. Visit the tavern. Alright, there's no one here. I have an idea. Let's go to the shipyard and see if we can get ourselves a ship. Buy the smallest little dinghy that we can possibly get. Oh man, we can't even afford any of these things. We need like an extra $5,000. This is ridiculous. 
Damn it. All right, so guys, it looks like we're in a rough spot here, but we're going to have to end the episode now. Next time, it appears that we're going to have to do a couple of dodgy jobs with the suspicious man so that we can raise enough money to finally get um, more money to buy a new ship so that we can get back to our, benefit, our, our better ship. And hopefully things will start to go our way, you know, because we've been beaten down by natives, by the Spanish, just everybody wants a piece. And now we've managed to escape from plantations, mines, several times in this episode already, as you've seen. But hopefully we won't have to keep doing that. Maybe we'll get stronger next time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And my name is Enox82. I'm signing out. See you guys later. Thank you.